He's a big influence on you and your tag team. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Myself and Anthony are crimson, or for me at least, from the start of, of when I was wrestling. I mean, I was always a bigger guy, and, and as I gained a little notoriety and had some accomplishments, people would always put me in the class physically, not necessarily accomplishment-wise, but physically they would put me in the class with Animal and Hawk and norton and hansen and this that whole generation of i think guys that truly outside of a handful of us now don't exist anymore so to say he was an influence on us yeah man that was um myself and crimson we 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 really appreciated our time with him well he gave you the permission to use your shoulder pads right with the spikes i thought that was so cool at the 70th anniversary show you know it's still surreal to me kind of how all that came about right we were booked with joe on a show in in clarksville tried and true professional wrestling up there and we were booked on a show with joe to um manage us and thought it would be a good idea and it was a fun match. Uh, we actually wrestled Dr. Tom's guys out of the Northeast, Carino brothers, who, who were great and really enjoyed wrestling those guys. But we got to we got to wrestle those guys that night, and the place was packed, tried and true, legitimately not your hokey indie wrestling numbers, but truly tried and true, draw somewhere between 1,000 and 1,200 at, at almost every event. So it's a pretty special place to get to go and, and perform. So... We've got Joe with us, and, and we're going to do post-match picture session in the ring. At intermission, the line, Carmine, I kid you not, I put online the other day, it was probably about 200 people at an intermission. Wow. But, man, I, the more I think about that, it was probably close to three or 400 people. I mean, the line was literally out the door to climb into the ring and snap a shot with myself and Animal and Crimson. Obviously, let's don't get it twisted. Animal's the draw here, but but the line is, is magnificent. It's out the door. And we get about, I don't know, let's say six or eight pictures in, and Joe leans over to me. He says, hey, Jax, man, this went pretty good tonight, don't you think? And I said, well, yeah, I mean, I, I think so, but... You know, who am I to judge? He said, well, you guys ever thought about painting your face and getting some bigger spikes or, or maybe wearing our shoulder pads? You guys ever thought about that? Oh, and wow. It, uh, <laughs> honest to God, Carmine, it caught me off guard, man, because, I mean, that's, like I said, in, in some tribute social media stuff I had. For me, that's stuff that a dream is made of. One of the guys that I grew up watching, idolizing, and now he's saying, hey, you should paint your face like I paint my face. and Maybe you should get some spikes like I got spikes. And, and I said, well, yeah, Joe, man, we think about that, buddy. But the way I was trained and, and where I come from with Dr. Tom and Danny Davis and those guys, you don't just assume someone else's ideas or gimmicks or or identities or however you want to, to describe it, right? I mean, you don't just think, oh, I'm a big muscled up guy and I'm going to paint my face and wear spikes and hope people think of the road warriors when they see us although you dream of wanting to do that out of respect for the guys that came before us that's just not something you do it's just, it's just you don't do that right but then well, you shouldn't yeah you shouldn't some guys do i mean some guys do but joe leans in and he says hey you ever think about painting your face wearing spikes well hell yeah we think about it but you know we can't do it without running it by you well you just ran it by me, and I think it'd be a great idea, Jax. I mean, maybe we should look at this for you guys. And then, boom, we were off to the races and running with it, man, with his endorsement. And I tell you what, man, that's one of my top three or four, if not top one or two. I mean, I won the NWA World Championship from Tenzon. You know how special that was to me. I won the NWA World Tag Team Championships in Japan with Rob Conway against Tenzon, Kojima, Lance, and Harry. That was real special. This is at least top three, if not, I mean, could even in, in some scenarios surpass the first two, man. I mean, just depends on what's important to you. And and getting the endorsement from someone is, as good as Joe was, that's, that's pretty important, man. I'm not sure how I rank those. I just kind of throw them all in my top three moments.